welcome back to another episode of Sakura Succubus 3, where we left off. We had this. Our ex came back. Oh, and she's trying to bring us back to the succubus realm. Oh boy, this is going to be hard enough for us to get us out of. Fuck's sake. <sighs> Here goes nothing. But yeah, she basically kissed us, no less. Her mouth pressed against mine. Her lips are soft and warm, despite her cold and unapproachable appearance. Deep down beneath the layers of elegant white and blue silk, Yu's heart is very passionate. It must be from her coming all the way to Japan to find me. She's been watching me for weeks, months. It could have been years for all I know. We've only dated for a while, but she never stopped thinking about me. She always loved me. Now she's come back to claim me. I can't escape. Even though I want to, my leg seems to be locked in place. Damn it! My body is frozen. I can only sigh and use hot, demanding kiss. Her tongue coils with mine. I can taste her saliva. <sighs> There's something sweet about it, almost fruity. The softness of her skin, the warmth of her lips, the taste of her tongue. It all serves to melt what little self-restraint I still possess. Reality begins to wrap. My skull pulsate. My legs feel weak. Yu's kiss is draining me. I can't keep standing any longer. I... <clears throat> I break the kiss and step back, or at least I try to. I don't get very far because the walls are in the way. My heart bumps against it and I groan. The room shifts before my eyes. The walls, my bookcase, and the tummy mats all blur together. My strength fades. Damn! Damn! Oh my god. We couldn't get out of it. Then I pinch forward. I hit the ground, limp and sensible, and everything goes black. Damn it! <sighs> when I eventually woke up, it, it's with a dull, throbbing ache in my temple. I wonder if something's wrong with me. Am I sick? My arms and legs feel heavy, but I don't seem to have a temperature. I'm not hot at all. In fact, I feel cold. What's going on? I don't know how long I've been asleep. I don't remember what happened before I passed out either. My mind is blank. My memories have slipped away. It's like my skull turned into a calendar. I think I was in my home, but I wasn't alone. Who was with me? <clears throat> I strained my leaky memories to its absolute limit, my head still throbbing. Maybe all the thinking is bad for me. Humans weren't made to extort ourselves like this. What if I have a brain hemorrhage? It's a shame I don't have a famous doctor in my harem of Sakibai. They're all very talented in their very own way. I don't think any of them would be using wield a, much wielding a scalpel. Speaking of succubi, was I with a succubus before I passed out? I must have been caught. Must have been. I can't. Rec I can recall, though faintly, the sensation of lips upon my own. Somebody kissed me. I pressed my lips against. I pressed my fingers against the lips as the detective might run their gloved fingers about a crime scene. If I was kissed, that must have been hours ago. I can't feel the warmth on my, on my lips now. I feel so cold. Where am I anyway? Now that I've somewhat regained my senses, I let my hand fall from my mouth and look at my surroundings. It's not my apartment anymore. In fact, I have no idea where I am. This place is not like I've ever seen. I'm in a large room with a high vaulted ceiling. There are windows and the skies out there is dark, though, which makes everything feel dull and gloomy despite its grand scale. Really, 
This room is huge. It's like something from a fairy tale palace, but slightly wrong. The color scheme's too dark and gloomy to be befitting a flattened haired heroine from a Destiny movie. Maybe this spacious room is instead the abode of an evil stepmother or a wicked witch. That might explain why it's so cold in here. It's full of dark magic. <sighs> I shiver right my arms against myself as I continue to stare. The furniture seems to loom over me. The bed I, I'm sitting upon. Meanwhile, in the real work of art, it's large. The massive mat, the mattress soft with a fancy headboard. It looks like something a princess might sleep in. Princess. My brows furrowed. Why, why has that struck the chord within me? I don't know any princess. It's pretty rare in today's modern society. Beyond fantasies, RPGs, and the like. They aren't that many people who can confidently state that they're princesses. And those who can would never interact with me. I'm just a Gazahir. A Gazawara Hiroki. There's nothing special about me other than my unique scent that a succubi find irresistible. There's no way any of any member of any country's royal family would fake interest in me. No human princess would, at least, but what about a succubus princess? What if I'm disappointed in you? You're you've been in an awful influence. What do you have to say for yourself, hmm? I'm listening. Grr, why? Why you? Do not refer me as you. I, this is a mark of great disrespect. I am your lady, and you will refer to me as thus. Now, stop staring me with those sad eyes. You look utterly pitiful. You are going to make me sick. <clears throat> Ow! Huh? I sit up, up straighter. My sense is restored. I can hear voices. They're demon distant, but I think they must be coming from the outside of this room. Though I can't see the speaker, both voices sound familiar. One is proud and one is haunting. The other pained. The first voice is harder to hear, placed a second, but I'm quite certain the owner of this of those low moans. Hmm? <sighs> you how dare you, you bitch! You would call me that, despite my superior status. You don't know your place. You've uh, let an accomplice of humans to get to your head. Now submit before me. I will stop until I see you cry. I never heard me sounds quite like that before, but that's Marina. It has to be. She's in trouble. I need to go and help her. I rise from the bed, despite my the dark covers pull around me. Whoever lay me upon their bed didn't shriek me out of any of my clothes, thank goodness. But I didn't need, so I don't need to hunt around in that imposing wardrobe for something to put on. I dash across the chamber, the soles of my feet slapping against the floor. The pains grasp and the choirs get louder for every step I take. I hope I'm not too late. Marina! I thrown open the heavily double doors and step out to the largely hallway. The hallway is dark and the skies are beyond the windows. It is pitch black. The strange, utter-worldly mansion is nothing like anywhere I've ever seen. In terms of design, it's very western gothic, too. It looks a little like a haunted house in Destinyland, but it's on a far grander scale. Everything looks very expensive. The person who owns this place must be Asseth. I wonder if the place is a billboard in the library or... Yeah! I must have cut by another cry. It sounds more closer now. The hallway is lined up with numerous wooden doors. All of them are on the bus handle, but my senses are telling me she's behind this one. Hold on, Marina! I'm coming! I pulled winch on my effort and slipped inside. I look around. Eyes are going to, it's even larger. 
I look around in the new rooms, eyes agog. It's even larger than the bedroom, if such thing as a possible. For such a large room, it's rather sparse. Save the throne from the very back. Set upon a raised dais. If this is really a throne room, its state to reason royalty must live here. This isn't just a mansion, it's a palace. Whoa! I stare as a tor- The tourist might with wide surprised eyes. In a way, I guess I am a tourist. This place is unfamiliar to me. I've seen more new sights in the last five minutes I've- I have the last five years. It'd be nice if I had a camera, but- So I could take a photo of this place in exquisite architecture. But now it's not the time. I finally found her. Marina! Oh, of course. Hideki? Stares at me, her face wet with embarrassment. If I were in Marina's shoes, doesn't look like she was wearing any, I'd be embarrassed too. She sprawled on the ground with it like an insect or bug, something less of a human. Her voluptuous bosom is pushed up painfully on the plush carpet, and her long hair coils messily around. Her legs are sp uh, slightly spread, and her shapely rare rear <laughs> and her shapely rear is raised in the air a pose that would be humiliating for anybody let alone a businesswoman at, of marina's caliber but that doesn't su surmise the full extent of her humbling there's something sitting upon the throne sporting long trenches and a skinny tight costume that leaves a little to imagination i think i know who it is Though I have not seen her wear these clothes like this before, in my it's my high school sweetheart Yuki. Though I'm, though I suppose her real name is Yu, the ruler of the Sabai. She's Marina's superior, and right there she's treating like a piece of furniture. Yu's feet is bare, and one is rise as she's propped it up, not a stool puffle, but on Marina's body. Yu nudges Marina's, nudges Marina with her foot, she grinds her soul against the top of Marina's head, not too gently, and Marina groans. <clears throat> her lower lip trembles, and Marina glanced down at the ground. I'm sorry, Hiroki. I didn't want you to see me like this. I'm supposed to be the one who dominates, rather than the one, rather than the one who is dominated. Marina's eyes burned with bitter anger tears. I hope that doesn't sorry your opinion of me. I'm sure I must look pathetic. Yes, you do. Marina looks at Marina coldly, arms folded. She grinds feet up atop Marina's head even harder with a and says, uh, in a truce vindictive manner that seems calculated to cause so much pain and humiliation as possible. <clears throat> Marina can't withstand the full br of you's anger. Her body drips, her face aflame. Her succubus wings would pursue from her back quivers. Dogs might wag their tails when they're happy, but I don't think the anxious quiver of Marina's wings signify happiness. She must feel winched. She looks kind of winched too. Not that I am close enough to tell her that. It's fine, Marina, don't worry. I never, I never think any less of you because of this. Do you really mean that? Yes, I do. I'm very fond of you, as I said before. Something. Something like this isn't enough to sway my feelings. I know you're not coming before that woman because you want to. She must have forced you into this. How st how astute. Cast an eye upon me. Her iris is a pale icy blue. They look paler still in the darkness throne room. So penetrating and I shiver. Is that enough, Marina? Do you not want to prostrate herself before me? And then again, she never does. She's always been difficult. Use lips curls. She thinks she's above me solely because she's older and a bit more experienced. She has never been, she's never before taken me seriously, though I'm supposed to be her ruler. She has always went and disrespected me. She has far, she has far, far too much pride for a mere utterling. I have tired 
being lenient with her. And I cannot let it stand now. I will grunt her beneath my heel, quite literally as you can see, and show how truly small and insignificant she really is. Now, Marina. Her captive, you still isn't smiling. Her expression is coolly detached, but I get the feeling she's enjoying this a bit more as she's letting on. You really is a sadist. Won't you subject yourself to me? I will punish you as as it's my right. It's what you deserve for just seducing my dear Hiroki. Seducing? Marina glowers at you. You make me sound like some wicked... Uh, you make me sound like some wicked temptress. Well, aren't you? You are a succubus. And so are you! Seducing men might be in our nature, but Hideki is m more than a conquest to me. In the beginning, I spoke to him in the u because of his unique scent. He intrigued me. It's more th than ideal custody, really. But as the times went by, our relationship would develop. I began to learn more about him, and then... How dare you! You interrupts Marina's story. Her voice is cold and glittical as a snowdrift. Do not talk to me about your so-called relationship with my beloved. If you do, I will inflict far worse turf upon you than this. You pushes her bare soul against Marina's head with so much force. Marina's body's buckle. Oh, sorry, body buckles. Her chin hits the ground and she winces. Maybe she bite her tongue. Is this why her eye I'm beating with tears? You are truly shameless, even for a succubus. I have tried to tell you dozens of times already, and I suppose I must make it clear enough. One does not tired of repeating oneself, though. I am a busy woman, and I have a good deal more than you more than to punish you for your transgression. So try to pay attention. If you ever try to school, if I ever try, ever have to school you in this manner again, I will crack her open your skull. You stamps Marina's head without mercy, her eyes emotionless. Hiroki is mine. He belongs to me, not you. And I won't let you lay as much as a finger on him again. I don't care what sort of a relationship you have once. It's all null and void now. Now we are on the succubus realm. Nothing can refuse my wishes. I rule this place with absolute power. Ah, so we're in succubus realm, aren't we? I have wondered. I guess this clears up one mystery. You must have brought me here after I fell unconscious. She must be regal, but I don't think she's above using underhand methods to get what she wants. I guess she used magic to get on me to knock me insensible. So I wouldn't be able to struggle. So she kidnapped me. Am I going to be trapped here from now on? How does one get back to in Tokyo to succubus from anyway? Maybe I need to walk through some of the portals. Or size some of the spells. Or click up red slippers together. Ah, oh, use still discipline. What's she saying? I have decided I want Hiroki. So you must learn to keep your distance and hold your tongue. This is not a request, but an order. You, you kicked huh, Marina's head, her shoulders, and her stomach. As Marina slumps on the ground, Plucka, and she can't protect herself. As she's tired, I thought it would provoke you. I thought it would provoke you's what, uh, wrath further. Marina has no other option but to take this abuse. Marina grits her teeth together, her eyes filled with angry tears. But she has to try to let them fall. Somehow, she looks oddly dignified, despite her severe dress down she's receiving. I don't think she'd be able to endure such torment without shedding at least a couple tears. You is not exactly, exactly being gentle. <sighs> it's a good thing she's removed her shoes at least, I guess. But being kicked repeatedly must hurt. I will forgive you for... Were a previous relationship with Hiroki. You wouldn't to know that I have already craned him. You like to imagine that you are the smartest of all of us, but you were wholly ignorant. I cannot reveal somebody who is acting 
without firstly knowing. Another sharp, sudden kick to the stomach. But now, you, now you do. So you should keep your distance. Look upon this as a warning. If you ever test my patience again, I will make you eat dirt and cry tears of blood. Thud, thud, thud. <sighs> Yuki, you, sorry, you is kicking Marina <sighs> discriminately as Marina groans a gasp. <sighs> it looks like you was in control of her facilities. When I arrived to the throne room and my presence see, sprung her jealousy on her insane level. If this keeps up, might be... If this keeps up, Marina might be in serious danger. I know she's a succubus, but a body is my, of much harder stuff than the normal humans. And use a succubus too. She must be very powerful and she's not holding back. Marina's body is going to end up covering in black and brute bruises. She might even break a bone. You is showing no sign of stopping any time despite her gasp. Marina's pain is only encouraging her. I have to do something. You! Stop this! I can't keep watching this. This is cruel! Quit that, you! That's enough! What you're doing is cruel. You, Marina does nothing to deserve this. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Oh? Marina glanced at me. She pursed her lips together. You must have had far as I thought, Hideki, to interfere with such manner. As a rule of the succubus realm, and all succubus dwelled within it, no one can tell me what to do. I do not answer to orders. I'm giving only what she deserves. You glanced at Marina. She's still curled up in the floor beneath Yu's bare foot, her face twisted in pain. It certainly looked like she's suffering. Her eyes damped and watery. When she squeezed them together, a couple of tears trickled down her cheeks. You sighs. Well, perhaps you do have a point. There is a chance I may have went a little too thorough in distributing retribution. One does not to lose lose one's cool. As a rule of the succubus realm, such frant sized emotions are insoluble for myself. I would hate to look hysterical, so I'm. F I'll finish with you. I'll finish with you for the present, Marina. I. Tr just my actions will make an impact, even if my words did not. Now go, leave me in peace. I did not wish to see your face again. Ha, <laughs> ha, Marina laughs. She might have sustained a lot of damage, but her pride wasn't wasteful. Rather than thinking for her kindness, she instead says, this feels quite mutual, I can assure you. Oh? Use eyes flashes. Are you trying to talk back to me, Marina? Even after all you endured? Do you truly have no sense of self preservation? If you truly enjoyed the sit of my foot upon you, quiver, I could have always punished you again. No, 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 it's fine, Lady You. My apologies. Adjusted the straps of her complex outfit and an offer of collapsed courtesy. I shall now depart. Yes, you do that. Do it quickly. And if you do not, I may so make you depart, not from this room, but from the world of all living beings. Ha! How frightening. You really do have a way of words, my lady. Hideki is right, though. If you are an effective witch, you really ought to work on your temper. Anger does not become you. You! You! Marina glares at Marina. Uh, you! Sorry. You glares at Marina, and, but Marina doesn't see it. She's already turned... Turned about on her heels. I watch as Marina walks off. Her motion is somewhat slow and sluggish. No doubt that her beating proceeded at use hands. Or foot, rather. Marina walks with something of a limp. And she has to drag her legs behind her. As she remain uh, she remains self-possessed. She exits the room and closes the heavenly door around her with a dull thud. This is where I'm going to have to end it here. I really appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has gotten worse. I I'm not even going to hold you. This has gotten worse. Now, for those of y'all who actually like pain when it comes to sex, I'm going to tell you one thing. I 
love it, but to this extent, I'm just going to say this right now. <sighs> I just don't like her at all. I'm sorry. You may have been my first lover, but you do not deserve anything like this. I'm sorry. With any type of regret. I moved on years ago, and it looks like you have not. <sighs> Unfortunately, this is just going to end worse from here, so. I'll see you guys next time.